Shalom, my friends, from here in Jerusalem. Um, it's been a very hard few days, as you know. Um, I'm sure that many of you heard that two days ago, my father, my Abba, Rabbi Chil Eckstein, Rabbi Chil Eckstein passed away. Um, he was 67 years old, and he had a heart attack. He uh, was by the treadmill, and he was going to work out, and he had a major heart attack and died immediately. Um, a lot of people are asking lots of questions, so I'm going to use whatever strength I have right now to try to clarify some things and give you a little bit of information, explain to you the process that we're going through now in mourning, and I will uh, continue to update you probably after the Shiva ends. The Shiva is Seven days after a family member dies, uh, the immediate family just sits in mourning and uh, they sit at their house in mourning and people come and visit and uh, give them comfort. So now we're still in the middle of Shiva until next Wednesday and then I'll update you more. But I know so many of you have been reaching out with the most beautiful messages and blessings and sending so much love that me and the entire family have just felt so surrounded by your love that I wanted to say thank you and give you a little bit of updates. First of all, I've received thousands of messages from near and far and all over and I haven't been able to read every one of them. But I'm going to get to it and I just want you to know that I appreciate those messages so much. I just feel surrounded by everyone's love and I feel so surrounded by everybody's uh, rallying around us to show the support. Uh, my father, Rabbi Chiel Eckstein, a lot of people are saying, was he sick? Was it a surprise? And the truth is that he's had heart troubles for a few years already. Um, he was on medicine and he had a few uh, heart attacks. He had two heart attacks in the past, but it was very sudden and surprising. And from a position of faith, I believe that everybody has their time to go. I believe that God has uh, a time where he's just supposed to take each one of us and he's all-knowing and perfect, and so it was my father's time to go. There's nothing to say or do about that. And I just find comfort in the fact that uh, he didn't suffer. I know people who are in the hospital and taking medicine and doing all different treatments, and they suffer and their family suffers, and it gives me so much comfort to know that my father didn't suffer that he was living life up until the very last minute. <laughs> I believe that that is hard for us, but makes it comforting to know that he didn't suffer. Someone was saying today at the Shiba house, someone was saying um, that when a newborn baby enters the world, they're crying, but everybody else is happy. And when somebody leaves this world, the soul is happy, but everyone here on earth is crying. And so we're definitely crying for him, but so grateful that he didn't suffer. Um, a lot of people are saying what's going to happen now with the fellowship. And I want to tell you that my father, for the past at least five years, has set up a system that works, that operates by itself. We have the most amazing staff that take care of every detail, of making sure every single one of the 20,000 elderly are getting food every single day. They're, get, they're getting visitors by volunteers. We have a system that makes sure that all of the Aliyah flights, the new Olim, the new immigrants that want to come home to Israel, that as soon as we have the funds, they're brought to Israel on wings of eagles. In fact, yesterday, I think it was even during my father's funeral, we had an Aliyah flight landing in Israel from Ukraine, a flight of new immigrants that landed in Ukraine as my father was being buried. And so regarding operations and all of the people that are relying on the fellowship for aid, nothing is changing. My father oversaw all of it and always wanted to be updated on what's going on. But he created a system of amazing professionals that really works without him. That he was able to take pride in it and direct us, but we are not skipping a beat. The aid that needs to get to the people is getting directly to the people. We haven't stopped for a day. Since he died, nothing has changed regarding the aid that people are receiving. 
He's also been moving me into a leadership role, the board of directors of the fellowship without my father actually even there, elected me president-elect around a year ago, which means that automatically when my father was supposed to retire in three years, um, or if God forbid something happened to him, that I would automatically be made the president of the fellowship. And my father and I have been working very closely to get me um, ready for that role. I really believe that my father felt this and wanted to do everything that I would be ready to to take the mantle. And so, as many people know, people would write to my father asking questions or asking for aid or asking for help or asking for meetings, and everyone got the same answer for the past two or three years, that he'd say, talk to Yael, she's in charge. And so, for the past few years, I've really been blessed to learn from my father and also take off of his plate a lot of uh, what he was handling before that. I was able to go to him with questions, get his vision, get his direction. And he's really laid out for us uh, a vision of bridging Jewish-Christian relations, Jews and Christians and shared values, helping Christians fulfill the prophetic reality of standing with Israel, helping all of us be part of prophecy by bringing Jews home, bringing comfort to the orphans, to the widows, and I feel, I feel like my father did his best to set everything up, to operate without him, and we really are in a position now that, thank God, the people are still getting the aid even after his passing, didn't skip a beat, and I believe that I have the vision and the direction and now the angel above to help me on this next stage of the fellowship journey. So. My prayer now, I have a lot of prayers, my prayer now is that God should grant me wisdom, that he should grant me peace, that he should grant me knowledge and clarity in each direction, that God should grant me the trust of all of you as I embark on this new journey that my father set me up for. And I just want to take a minute to thank our staff, our amazing fellowship staff who have really set up everything in the fellowship that we're able to operate even without my father here to continue fulfilling his dream that not one elderly didn't get food yesterday because my father wasn't in this world not one new immigrant who it was booked on a ticket to israel had their ticket canceled we are continuing our operations we are continuing to give aid we are continuing in the vision of my father and my prayer is that you will stand with me, like Aaron, holding up my arms, helping me, leading me, encouraging me, believing in me. And uh, God should just grant us all peace. And my father, Rabbi Chil Ekstein, as we say in Hebrew, his neshama should have an aliyah. His soul should fly high into the kingdom of heaven. Shabbat shalom.